welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain the post optimal analysis of uh, changes in the elements of coefficient matrix a uh, that is uh, if some of the elements of the coefficient matrix a that is a i z f for example uh, changes and what would be the post optimal analysis how to carry the uh, analysis right so for example you consider here i explain case 1 there are two cases the two particular cases i explained case 1 only here in this particular uh, class uh, let us consider the linear programming problem in the matrix form as usual maximize that is equal to cx subject to the constraint ax is equal to b and x is greater than or equal to 0 this is what on a linear programming problem is going to be considered and where A is an M by N real matrix, so our uh, uh, on, intention on A only now. So XB is an optimum solution and any coefficient A i j i is equal to 1 to M, j is equal to 1 to N is changed in the matrix A. For example, you consider A i j, the coefficient A i j is changed, i is equal to 1 to M, j is equal to 1 to N. Okay, is changed in the matrix A, then uh, what would be the change? You consider the change as uh, some for some a r k it is changed and uh, it is changed to a r k plus delta a r k. So only the change in the a r k is delta a r k. This amount is added. So therefore uh, a r k is the old value and now the new value of the, the changed value is a r k plus delta a r k. The change is delta A R K. Okay, this is what the concept uh, we are regularly following in this uh, post-optimal analysis. So consider A R K star is equal to A R K plus delta A R K. A R K star is nothing but new value, changed value. The element will be in the kth column of A, A and let it be A K star. It is one vector. A one, A one, A two, and so on. A K. Now A K is A K star because changed value is going to be one value is changed that is going to be observed in this particular uh, uh, column uh, vector that is a k star is equal to a 1 k a 2 k and so on a r k plus delta a r k and so on a m k so these are the usual values of a a i j values a 1 k a 2 k and k is going to be fixed the kth vector kth column column vector ARK plus delta ARK and so on AMK. The variation may, may occur in the two following possible ways. Okay, two fo following possible ways. What are the following uh, possible ways? You see, there are two. First one, AK does not belongs to B. That is the elements of ARK star is equal to ARK plus delta ARK. It is in, uh, that is, uh, in AK does not belongs to belongs to the basis matrix B that is the first case case 2 is AK belongs to B that is ARK star is equal to ARK plus delta ARK is in uh, AK in AK belongs to the basis matrix B it is it uh, belongs to B it does not is not uh, it is not belongs to uh, B the basis matrix now we studied case 1 what is case 1 you see this is what the case 1 the case 1 is a k if a k does not belongs to b the changes in a r k does not belongs to the basis matrix b then the post optimal analysis uh, do not that is post optimal changes uh, do not affect the feasibility of the current optimum solution it does not affect the feasibility feasibility meant by x b x b is nothing but a feasible solution which gives it gives the feasibility um, but only the optimum see why why because of the xb xb the values uh, are not depending on the ak values are not uh, xb is not depending on ak a is a values here ak and uh, the only the optimality condition zj minus cj will be affected so to maintain the optimality condition what we have to prove we have to keep the condition that is maintain the condition zk star minus ck star greater than equal to 0 because we are calculating only one net evaluation in that particular uh, column. Zk star minus Ck star, which is going to be greater than equal to 0. 
so in which first of all if you consider zk star what is zk star zk star is equal to cb yk star z is nothing but cb xb here on the matrix form if you consider y cb yk star so this yk star is going to be represented as b inverse ak star b inverse a if you remember z is going to be expressed as cb b inverse a capital a the matrix here only the value k therefore cb b inverse ak star this is only the uh, value uh, we are calculating for for which uh, uh, element is going to be changed in the, in which the one particular vector we have considered kth column kth column vector zk star is equal to cb b inverse ak star now you come and explain again what is uh, cb b inverse a uh, it is to be clearly explained if you cb b inverse ak star is a1k a2k and so on ark plus delta ark and so on amk okay and if you separate these two that is two particular uh, addition of two matrices a1k a2k ark and so on amk plus 0 0 0 delta rk and so on 0 0 0 right so this is what the two particular uh, column vectors if you express uh, some of the two particular vectors two particular uh, matrices then cb b inverse a1k a2k and so on ark amk this is what first one plus cb b inverse cb b inverse multiplied by 0 0 and so on delta r ark and so on 0 so this is what uh, we are splitted into two particular some of the two particular uh, uh, matrices and so that we have multiplied cb b inverse so therefore if you consider here this is cb b inverse this is what the original vector ak without changes the old we can consider is a old uh, values these are old values and this is vector of uh, old linear programming problem now for a new linear programming problem this is what uh, additional change okay the, so cb b inverse into 0 0 and so on delta rk and so on 0 so in which if you consider this is cb b inverse ak and b inverse plus cb into this is you keep it as it is this is nothing but uh, zk okay z or uh, zk okay cb into uh, b inverse we are writing uh, as the m vectors it is an m by m matrix beta 1 beta 2 and so on beta k beta m multiplied by 0 0 and so on delta r k and so on 0 and so on and so on 0 right so this if you express uh, in this way b inverse uh, in this way and what you have to multiply here if you, you have to multiply with uh, beta 1 multiplied by this actually vector it is uh, a uh, particular column vector like if you multiply with only the element is beta k into delta r k remaining or it is kth column of b inverse only to be multiplied remaining all values are zeros multiplied by zero multiplied by zero etc and so that uh, if you multiply with uh, one particular row to one particular column and remaining all values zero only the vector remains beta k into delta r k that is what you see it is very clear that zk star is equal to now cb b inverse ak the first one plus cb into beta k delta ark that's all that where beta k is the kth column of b inverse beta k consists of kth column it is kth column of b inverse and zk star therefore is equal to cb b inverse ak is zk how uh, the zk star is equal to cb b inverse ak star cb b inverse ak is nothing but zk this is what the one of the value of z at at uh, considering that is by considering uh, kth uh, 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 kth vector that is column vector plus cb beta k and delta ark so now again uh, by taking uh, now what is required uh, it is required in this particular uh, calculation to prove the optimality optimality condition is zk star minus ck star remaining net evaluations are obviously greater than or equal to zero because uh, we are uh, cons we have considered uh, we have considered the only optimum solution in the optimum solution all net evaluations are greater than or equal to 0 except this because this is the uh, in which uh, we have only uh, change is observed in the element a r k 
ओके सो जेड के स्टार माइनस सी के स्टार इज इक्वल टू जेड के दिस इज जेड जेड स्टार जेड के स्टार जेड के प्लस सी बी बीटा के ए आर के माइनस सी के ओके सो दिस इज वॉट जेड के स्टार माइनस सी के स्टार टू मेन्टेन द ऑप्टिमल दि कंडीशन इट शुड बी ग्रांड दिन इक्वल जीरो दट इज जेड के स्टार माइनस सी के स्टार शुड बी ग्रांड दिन इक्वल जीरो विच एम्प्लाइज वॉट वॉट इज जेड के स्टार माइनस सी के स्टार जेड के प्लस सी बी बीटा के डेल्टा ए आर के माइनस सी के इज ग्रांड दिन इक्वल जीरो Take this particular CK right hand side, and so that uh, this is ZK plus CB beta K delta R K greater than equal CK, and take this particular ZK also right hand side. Therefore, now CB beta K delta R K is greater than equal to. If you take ZK right hand side, it will be minus. If you take common minus minus ZK minus CK. Why you are taking in for in this form? Because because ZJ minus CJ is an active elevation, so ZK minus CK is an active elevation of kth vector. therefore delta you what you have to calculate what would be the condition for change delta ark so delta ark is greater than equal to you take the cb beta k right hand side so therefore delta ark greater than equal to minus of zk minus ck divided by cb beta k this is what the uh, uh, condition for delta ark to maintain the optimality but uh, it uh, generally uh, we have discussed many uh, two times already uh, this is going to be consider in two particular ways one uh, cb beta k is greater than 0 uh, delta ark is greater than equal to minus zk minus ck minus of zk minus ck divided by cb beta k uh, for which cb beta k is greater than 0 and uh, uh, And also now, if we consider delta R K is less than or equal to minus of Z K minus C K divided by C B beta K, for which C B beta K is less than zero. So therefore, uh, uh, in the under these two particular conditions, delta delta R K will take in one particular range. Uh, I'll tell you, and where delta and and also we have one particular condition. If delta R K is unrestricted, if C B beta K is zero, if C B beta K is zero and delta R K is uh, unrestricted in sign and uh, uh, hence the range of delta rk in the coefficient matrix a for maintaining the optimality condition it is going to be given by now as usual we have discussed uh, in previously also uh, if you consider if this is the maximum value it is going to be considered proved as uh, uh, the maximum value this is greater than equal to max Uh, maximum value then it is greater than or equal to for all values if this is less than or equal to delta r k less than or equal to some minimum value then uh, it is less than or equal to uh, all values of the different values of uh, beta k right therefore maximum uh, minus uh, maximum of minus z k minus c k divided by uh, c b beta k for which c b beta k is greater than 0 is less than or equal to delta r k is less than or equal to minimum of Minus of ZK minus CK by CB beta K, where CB beta K is less than zero. So this is what the range of delta ARK is going to be considered. So there, this is what uh, uh, optimality to maintain the optimality. Uh, uh, whenever the changes uh, taken place for uh, one of the element of the coefficient matrix, uh, let it be ARK. The uh, the change is going to be observed in ARK. Then uh, to maintain the optimality. Uh, optimality condition then this is what the uh, range it is going to be uh, given that is uh, specified the range is going to be uh, considered to maintain the optimality for delta ark so this is case 1 we discuss case 2 that is uh, uh, if ak belongs to b in the next class it, now we have discussed ak does not belongs to the basis matrix b right fine Hope you understand. We discuss remaining uh, uh, case in the uh, second case in the in one uh, another class in another um, video class. Thank you. Thank you very much.